Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today we'll write a program to add and subtract two matrices. Python doesn't have a built-in type for matrices. However, we can treat list of a list or nested list as a matrix or we can use the NumPy library to create the matrix. We already discussed about that. Today here we'll treat a nested list as matrix and we will add and subtract two matrices. In matrix, addition and subtraction is the element by element operation. That is the first element of matrix one will be added to the first element of another matrix or matrix two. Here we have two matrix. To add this matrix, the first element of matrix one that is the value present in the zero zero will be added to the first element of matrix two that is this value. The elements will be added like this 11, 10 plus 1, 11, 20 plus 2, 22, 30 plus 3, 33, 40 plus 4, 44. Matrix 1 and matrix 2 will be added like this. Subtraction is also an element by element operation. So that's why to perform this matrix addition or subtraction, number of row in matrix 1 should be equal to number of rows in the matrix 2. and Number of column in matrix 1 should be equal to number of column in matrix 2. If it is not equal, we can't perform this addition or subtraction. For example, here matrix 1 contains 2 rows and 2 column, but matrix 2 contains 2 row and 3 column. So here column is not matching. That's why we can't perform the addition or subtraction here because when I add 1 to 10, it will give result 2 to 20, but we can't add anything to 30 and 60, right? We don't have the elements in matrix 1 to add that to 30 or 60. So we can't perform the addition or subtraction here. Alright, so next we'll write the program. To write the program, we need to take the input first. So we need two matrices. So here we are taking nested list as matrix. So we need two nested list. So in the Python file, first I'll ask the user to enter the row and column. So before writing the matrix, we need to know how many rows and column it contains, right? So for that, I'll take two variable. First variable is row and I'll take the user input using input function. So enter the row number. That is nothing but how many number of rows you want in matrix one and matrix two. Both the matrix should contain same number of rows. So that's why I'll take only one input. If I enter row as three, both the matrix contains three rows. Same with column, I'll take a variable called call and I'll ask the user to enter the column number. And here we are using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default this input function will take input as string. But here we want row number and column number integer value. That's why we are using this int function. So we are done with the row number and column number. Now we need to create the nested list and we need to enter the value for that list or matrix. So first I'll take my nested list name as matrix one. This is my first matrix. And to create and enter the value for nested list, I'll use list comprehension method. I'll use int input function. So I'll ask the user to enter the input, the elements of the matrix one. So if you enter row as two and column as three, this int input function will be executed first. It will ask the user to enter the input it will enter that for the column first. If I enter one, two, three, that will be entered to column. Next, this for loop is for row. Okay, so it will enter the elements to the matrix one. Next, if you want, you can print the elements of matrix one in the matrix form. For that, we need to take two for loop. First for loop is for row. Second for loop is for column and you need to print matrix one. I first that is the row J and here you need to take end is equal to space or empty string or you can format this value using format function. You can give the equal space between each value. Okay, so here we are using end to keep the control in the same line. When we are printing the row zero value, we want to print the elements one after the another, right? 
we don't want to go to the new line that's why i took end is equal to empty string i used format function to format the element it will give equal space between each value okay next here we need print function this is for the new line after each row we want to go to the new line right so for that we need to use this print function we use this in the pattern program right same way we need to use that here so here i'll just use a print function that is enter the elements for matrix 1 next here we'll enter that using list comprehension method next i'll use a print function and to print matrix 1 is this so now we are done with the input for the matrix 1 next we need to take the matrix 2 we'll write the same code for the matrix 2 i'll copy this and i'll paste this enter the elements for matrix 2 here i'll take variable name as matrix 2 and rest everything is same here it is matrix 2 row is same column is same here it is matrix 2 done so we are done with the input now so if i save this and run this if i enter row 2 column 2 so matrix 1 will be printed next it will ask to enter the elements for matrix 2 okay it will print matrix 2 done we are done with the inputs next we need to add the elements present in the matrix 1 with the matrix 2 so for that also we need to use two for loop nested for loop So I need to take the first for loop for row, and next for loop for column. Both this for loop contains same number of rows and uh, same number of column. So I'll take the first for loop for row of the matrix one and matrix two, and next for loop for column of matrix one and matrix two. Next I need to add the elements present in the matrix one and matrix two. but after adding that i need to store it somewhere right so for that i need to take another nested list so for that also i'll use the list comprehension method we need to create a nested list which will store the result so i'll take the variable name as result instead of taking the input initially i'll take the value of that uh, nested list as zero so we have a nested list called result it contains value as 0 for now after adding the elements of matrix 1 and matrix 2 i will store that result in this result nested list fine so next here i need to take result i j is equal to matrix 1 i j plus matrix 2 i and so i need to add the elements of matrix 1 and matrix 2 and i need to store that in the result fine so when row is 2 column is 2 so range will become 0 1 initially i value will be 0 j value will be 0 so result of 0 0 equal to matrix 1 of 0 0 plus matrix 2 of 0 0 that is nothing but the first value of matrix 1 and the first value of matrix 2 it will be added and that result will be stored in this result variable here this is the 0 0 value this is the 0 0 value this will be added and it will be stored in this result nested list it is also 0 1 0 it will be stored in result 0 0 okay it will be stored here in same way it will perform the addition and it will store the result in this nested list for next j value becomes 1 i value same that is 0 so it will become 0 1 matrix 1 0 1 matrix 2 0 1 that is nothing but 0 through first column so zero through first column that is this value zero through first column this value 22 is added and that is will be stored here that is also 0 1 i value is 0 j value is 1 it will do the calculation like this next we are done with the calculation next we need to print the result present in the result nested list result matrix so for that again we'll use the for loop first for loop is for row second for loop is for column next to print result 
i j and end is equal to empty string i'll use the print function and if you want you can format it so here we are printing the result using for loops so first here we took the input from the user we asked the user to enter the row numbers and column number next based on that row and column value we created two nested list matrix 1 and matrix 2 next we inserted the value to matrix 1 and matrix 2 using list comprehension method next we printed the value of matrix 1 and matrix 2 using nested for loop after that we created another nested list to store the result and to perform the addition we used nested for loop and next to print the result we used the nested for loop okay so next we'll execute this program so i'll take 2 and 2 1 2 3 and 4 10 20 30 and 40 and it will give the result like this 11 12 33 44 but we'll include a print statement here okay it will print result is 6 8 10 12 so next here when we are doing this calculation addition here instead of taking range as a row you can take length of matrix 1 so when we are adding the elements of matrix 1 if you want you can take the range as length of matrix 1 and and length of matrix 1 and 0 so when i find out the length of matrix 1 so matrix 1 is nothing but it is a nested list right so when i take a nested list if i find out the length of matrix 1 i'll get the number of rows in that matrix 1 so instead of mentioning row you can mention length of matrix 1 also here previously we took the variable column column is nothing but it contains number of column here length of matrix 1 of 0 will also give the number of column here i took 0 because each row contains same number of column right so if i take 0 1 everything is same here every row contains same number of column so instead of column you can take length of matrix 1 of 0 and instead of row you can take length of matrix 1 also here it will also give the output so we'll take different 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so it will give matrix to this result is 2 4 6 8 10 12 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 4 is 8 like that so next coming to the subtraction so for the subtraction you just need to subtract here okay rest everything is same if i run this now okay so 9 18 27 36 so subtraction is also element by element operation okay so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care